today, we really want to observe what's going on. So I'm expecting you to use your eyes and look very closely to see what's going on and see what you can observe. There's always great energy in the room when we are using uh, the science kits from Civil. They really enjoy the activities. The activities are hands-on. It's turning a little blue on the edges. Very blue, actually. Yeah. yeah. They are engaged. I get the oohs and ahs, and that's that's what I want to see happen. I see yellow. Oh, that is yellow. This is so cool. Each kit gets delivered, and it has um, activities uh, complete with a teacher guide and all the materials to support science for nine weeks. You have really solid uh, lessons ready to go. And it just makes it a lot easier because our time is very limited. Sybil stands for the Center for Inquiry-Based Learning. Uh, we are a nonprofit group that started 15 years ago. One of the things that the hands-on kits really provide is an opportunity to nurture a child's curiosity. Our goal is to have a classroom that's active, where students are engaged with materials. They're using their five senses, they're smelling, they're tasting, they're feeling, they're coming up with observations, which are going to lead to questions, which is going to lead to speculations and predictions, um, higher order critical thinking skills. Um, these are things that we're passionate about. I think we need to nurture that curiosity. That's something that has to happen in every, every day, every school, K through eight. And our materials provide that. The science kits provide that innovative instruction for our students. I remember at one point when we were contemplating the possibility of having to eliminate the kits and what we heard from teachers loudly and clearly was that we absolutely needed to find a way to ensure that we kept the kits in those classrooms because they saw uh, the results not only day to day in the classrooms but also on those end of grade exams. You can talk at students all you want and they're not actually going to learn what science is. Science is doing and so if kids don't do science then they're not able to actually learn it. Biogen supports Sybil because we believe in workforce development. These students will be able to come into the workforce and be prepared to engage in the cutting edge science that we're doing here at Biogen and at any science company across North Carolina. I'll put a plain coffee filter. It's so different when students touch things. They feel things that you can't feel when you're watching a simulation on a computer screen. More questions come up, more ideas come up, and that happens when you get them engaged. Sybil's a North Carolina-based nonprofit, and we are here to serve North Carolina schools. Our goal is to have as many North Carolina schools who share this passion of hands-on science to participate. In North Carolina, there's an opportunity gap. We believe that the Sybil Kits can reach students from across the state to bring hands-on science and professional development so that these students can overcome the opportunity gap. So maybe not every business has a foundation that can give millions of dollars to science education, but businesses do have the opportunity to give something back to their community in order to develop the workforce that we need for tomorrow. My kids are really excited about the things that they're doing. I've had parents to email me and tell me, thank you for what you're doing because my child is coming home and, and talking nonstop about what they did in science today. And of course, that's all a parent really wants is for their child to be excited about school and so engaged that that's the first thing they have to say when they see them.